our gifts to the needy. But let's meditate on the testimony of Tabitha. The book of Acts, chapter 9. And verse 36 to 42. In Joppa, there was a disciple. Her name was Tabitha. In Greek, the name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. I take that again. In Joppa, there was a disciple. Not a pastor, not an evangelist, just a disciple. I'm glad also she's not a convert. She was a disciple. A disciple, by our definition here, is an earthly model of the heavenly standard. Somebody Christian can copy on their way to heaven. People that when you copy them, you make heaven. People that when you try to do what they do, God commends you. In Joppa, there was a disciple, and her name was Tabitha, which in Greek is um, Dorcas. Notice, she was always doing good. So what we want to do today is a good thing. And she's always helping the poor. We have known that whatsoever a man sows, he shall reap. So if you do good, we reap good. We were told in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, let us not be weary in doing good. So you don't say we did it last month. Let us not be weary in doing good. In doing good. Why? For at the proper time, if we don't give up, we will have an harvest. You won't die before your harvest. I'd like you to be terribly intentional. Always doing good. So he said in verse 10, in as much as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially the people of the family of God. Doing good. Therefore, in as much as we have opportunity. So this, this one now is an opportunity. So he said, I can't say you, but the Holy Ghost, let us do good to all men. He now quickly added, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. So I know that what we're about to do now is in line with the perfect biblical will of God. She was always doing good and helping the poor. We are back in the book of Acts, chapter 9, and verse number 36. Helping the poor, helping the poor. About that time, she became sick and died. Eh? Nobody has felt that for somebody who's doing good. We can break the power of the grave, sir. We can stop the scourge of death intentionally. About that time, they are about to refer to, she became sick and died. Remember in Psalm 41, he said, Blessed is he that considered the poor, the Lord will save him from sickness. How about the be that God was not doing anything? She became sick and died. And her body was washed and placed upstairs in the room. That is lying state. 
whatever is hustling for the grave in your life today, something will stop it. They were preparing her for the grave. We were not told how old she was anyway. Leader was very near to Joppa. So when the disciples heard that Peter was in leader, I love this church. All of them were disciples. Please listen. If you refuse to grow in the journey of faith, you are not a disciple. And in the days of challenge, it will be difficult to join hand with you. Omolon, don't call you that was okay. It's a misfit in the spirit economy. To the bus walk by, to my door, it's a not in my break. The Bible was bold enough to call everybody in that church called the Church of Joppa. He called all of them disciples. This is my prayer. May all of us be qualified for rapture. Yeah. Because objectively, a typical disciple is somebody who is almost every hour prepared for rapture. God can, God can decide to do anything with him anytime. God will not regret. He doesn't have any sin he has not repented of. He doesn't keep anything that can hinder him. He's terribly rapture conscious. God's words I heard. The disciples, I love that. Did he say church members? He said the disciples, they had that Peter was a leader. That's a good church. May your house be like that. Where all of you are disciples. We are not disciples. We are not saying disciples of uh, Babalola or the first of uh, Rekoya. We are not disciples of uh, Nadia All of us are disciples of Christ. So that the person who is going to who is going to mark all the Baba rights is the same person who will mark us right. Somebody who is yearning. I don't want to be a misfit in the economy of God part time. Somebody's not counting score. I overcome him today. I was smarter him today. You know, we can be the service and be counting scores. And the devil likes it that way. Because he knows that when we are busy doing that, God can't use us for anything. All of them were disciples. So the Bible says. Disciples sent two men to Peter. I said, Peter, please come at once. I know Peter will have asked the Holy Spirit, should I go? But because the Holy Spirit is in them, they were not making a relevant invitation. For those who are led by the Spirit, that sense of God, Romans chapter 8, verse 14, they were led to do so. Not that they thought, no. Peter went with them. When he arrived, he was taken to the officer room where the woman, they called Tabitha, who happened to be a widow lays. All the widows stood around him, around Peter. They were crying and showing the robes and other clothing that Dockers had made while she was still with them. Your work will speak. Yes, hmm. When the Bible said their works follow them. That's why I'm making you to do one. This one you are doing is a good work. That's what the Bible call it. Let us not be weary in doing good. Because one day your doing good will stand as an anointing. That's the word. I know it. I'm not thinking it. I know it. Peter might have prayed for the dead before without result. Are we together? Peter might have prayed for the dead before without result. But this one 
Peter has been found worthy and Tabitha has sown the seed. So Peter was just about to harvest. Hmm? He said, pray that Lord harvest. We send harvester to his field. The field is ready. Obrigan Tessilei. He said, I don't know what is it. He said, what is it? He said, The Bible says, practically speaking, the widows gathered. Let us make it part of our spiritual journey. It doesn't matter how much you pray. Eh? Remember the poor. If you make your ministry stand. Galatians chapter 2 verse 10. Paul said, I went to go and show the disciples my Senior ministers, what I've been doing, so that I will not have done that in vain. Now, when I gave to them what I was teaching, all they asked that we should continue, continue, as we are singing, continue to remember the poor, as we are doing usher, continue to remember the poor, as we are doing intercessor, continue to remember the poor. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Ministry is not complete without it. He said, I said, okay, go complete. They told Paul the apostle, you are a missionary. You are moving from... In fact, do you notice in your Bible, Paul didn't have where they call his house. He was just walking around to Viku. Um, he knew when he went to And he never had a locker. He spent all his year moving from one place to the other. And our apostle was often praying, this go ye, don't say ye. This ye cannot be ye, except you add giving to the need. I am saying it to your evangelism is objectively not complete. Your prayer life is not complete without it. Who, who in the Bible, New Testament, is more gifted than Paul? But I want to ban you by was of prayer. Continue to remember the poor. Are you hearing me? Paul now quickly said, and I thank God. Hmm? I've always done that. Now that I'm hearing them, I will do it better. All that they ask is that we should remember, continue to remember the poor. Not remember the poor once in a while. That's why we are doing it every month to help people. So I can help myself. Help yourself too. The very thing, Paul closed, Galatians 2 10, the very thing I was eager to do. The very thing, not things, the very thing. Praises is not complete without it. Come on, say, I hear. More yeah, your mother, I'm not going to need it. I said, I don't want to get This ministry cannot go down when we are doing what he said. Your family can't go down when you are doing what I'm saying. No. But look at the thing. The Bible says on this very day, people were crying. All the widows stood around in verse number 39. They were crying, but they were not crying with empty hands. They were crying, showing, crying, showing, crying, showing. In the days of your weeping, what will you show? All of them we are crying, showing, crying, showing. What were they showing? The Bible says, showing the robes. And other clothing that Dorcas not gave them, made for them. Did you hear that now? That means he takes them to Taylor. Kai, that's scripture. Help me make clothes for these children. Their dad is no longer there. Ah. 
She takes their measurements. Hmm? I go to where they're selling clothes. So we those children and offered in that church of Joppa, we are not wearing rags. Because of, not because of God, but because of Tabitha. May God raise Tabitha from this house. I'll be one of them, rise up and shout, Amen. I'll be one of them, rise up and shout, Amen. I shall be one of them, rise up and shout, Amen. Sit by because the Bible says, sit down. The Bible says, on that day, when death knocked, death cried. The highest affliction in life is death. Are we together? Because when anything, you are pursuing something and death enter, you stop. Let them be administering all manner of gadgets, all manner of expertise in the hospital. As soon as the patient dies, what happens then? Atiku, ati aron, amito buna nikoje o onito woman. In the name of Jesus, Church, the Bible says, "Lose a kara dunasa, a vakuta china." Peter got there, and he saw the showing. He dawned on Peter. This should not be. Lord, have you got any place, any person to replace her? That's the question Peter has in the spirit. Only was so tired of me to continue saying. And God answered, No. He said, Therefore, I plead with you, Lord, bring her back. Start doing things that God cannot easily replace. Tell your neighbor for me. Start doing things that God cannot easily replace. We have to become a church that is not easily replaceable. If God can get an alternative to us, he will drop us. I'm sorry, that's God for you. When he got Alternative to Saul. What did he do? He dropped him. He was managing King Saul until when he got David. When he got David, what did he do with Saul? He dropped him. Begin to endure yourself to the heart of God. Oh, let me be alone. We come from the rock where Kisha wa malone. Kita wa lumi malosoke. One good thing about God is this. He's a jealous God. He is jealous for his work to continue. So if you can get anybody to continue better than you, that's the end of Oh Lord, have mercy. You didn't say it well. The Bible says, Peter knelt down and prayed. And after he was done with the prayer, in verse 40, he turned towards Tabitha and said, Tabitha, get up. Amen. Tabitha, arise. Amen. Because God has not gotten anybody holding a gift to the needy. One of our grandpa in the faith passed on some years ago. And when they were checking through, he died during the week. So when they were checking through his uh, Bible, they saw that the offering he will give on Sunday, he had already packaged it. <laughs> he died on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, look, I don't know. Why are you offering to get that on Sunday? You bet. The pastor who found it knelt down. He said, Oh God, help me. He said, I have not started. So when I read this scripture, or when I read this scripture, I thought to myself, maybe what he will still give to another needy 
Oh, say, Guinea, oh, you want lay? And God was saying, now that said, this thing is on grant, come and give it yourself. they ask us to do is to tabitarize our Christianity. Did you hear me now? What does it? Tell her, cousin, I just you hear that English. I hope you hear that English. Say it again. That's what we have. Or you don't exercise it. So, Abi, <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> that is one. I don't see any other place where they refer to that woman. It was only one case. I know you are born again. Hmm? Don't exercise it. Is it clear? You do get me. So help me to preach to her again. Madam? Madam. Uncle? Madam. Daddy? Docarize and docasize your vicinity. Or? or Tabitarize it. Ask them now. So, ye, ye. so what did you bring today to do that? She was always doing good. Act 10, 36. She was always doing good. She was a disciple. Act 9, 36. Her name was Tabitha. The Greek of her name was Dorcas. She goes to the church of Joppa. Joppa church is not a big one. But it's not unlikely. Joppa is a kind of city where so many widows exist. I don't know why. That's why I first come up to pray for you. Whatever will decimate your family. Back to the sender. Yeah. But I hope you know, one of the forces to silence the mouth of death is to dockerize our Christian. Peter, Peter rose up. Peter will tell her, keep on doing what you are doing. Did you hear me? On behalf of your family, keep on doing what you are doing. And the madam will say, what am I doing? He said, I am shocked. And the spirit of God in me was exhilarated when I saw the number of widows and orphans that were showing clothes you made for them. Are you the only one? God couldn't find somebody to replace you. And on that platform, I asked him to give you back to us. In other words, I brought you back to life to continue what you have started. Whatever was dead in your life and mine, this is your seed to the poor. This is your seed of doing good. We bring them back to life. Yeah. Will you rise and hold your seed in your hand? Say, Father. Oh. I am, I am using this seed to docasize my lifestyle. I am tabitarizing my Christianity. Now raise it up and say, Father, as you did concerning Tabitha in Acts chapter 9, let a similar thing happen to me. 
I pray in Jesus' name. If the Holy Ghost is telling you to do something extra, go ahead and do it. Oh. I'm shouting from the altar by the Spirit of Jesus. Today, your seed will open heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus, precious name we pray.